Welcome to CSI Cooking Specialty Ingredients. Hi, I'm Sarah. This educational video for the Hospitality Education Foundation of Georgia has been made possible by a grant from the Specialty Crop Block Grant Program at the U.S. Department of Agriculture and funding from U.S. Foods and Dexter Russell. In CSI Spinach, Chef Heather Holbert will be showing us different techniques to cook spinach. Chef, how do we begin? Let's get our mise en place and start cooking. All right. Chef, how do we begin? We're going to start with cleaning the spinach. Okay. And you're going to start pulling the stem and peel away. Oh, okay. Okay, just like that. Sometimes you have spinach that are big with long, tough stems, so you want to make sure you destem it. Some of the baby spinach, you don't have to do that. This bunch looks good. So, Chef, what are we going to do here? You are going to saute spinach, and this is just a basic way of sauteing spinach. It's just going to be pretty simple. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so you have a medium heat with a saute pan. So, go ahead and add your olive oil. All of it? Uh, just maybe ha half that amount, just a little bit. All right, perfect. And then go ahead and add your shallots. And we're gonna just, let's turn this down a little bit. Otherwise, it's gonna burn your shallots. All right. So you wanna sweat your shallots and just give that a, a shake. Shake, shake. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go ahead, before they start to burn, go ahead and add your spinach. Go ahead and add all of it in. Just add it all. And Typically, at this point, I'm just going to turn off the heat because of that residual heat will cook the spinach. So go ahead and just saute that up, toss Ooh. everything around. I'm going to have you deglaze with a little bit of vinegar, I All mean right. just a, a drop. I always, add, I always add a little bit of vinegar, just gives it a nice little punch. Okay. And also the acid helps to keep the color. Does it matter what kind of vinegar you use? Or? Uh, I mean, you can use lemon juice. Uh, this, we have some red wine vinegar. I think it really depends on what you like. I mean, you can certainly add some herb vinegar, some tarragon vinegar, some basil would be really good in there. Oh. So go ahead and add just a little bit of chicken stock. That's perfect, yeah. Go ahead and just stir that in. Maybe add a little bit of salt. Uh, we have some pepper as well. And we should uh, be done with that. And you see how much it cooks down? Mm-hmm. What we're gonna do really is just blanch the spinach. And this is probably the most important thing as far as cooking. There's a numerous numerous ways and techniques of using the spinach after it's blanched. Chef, how do we begin? So we have a pot of boiling water and we'll, uh, we'll also need an ice bath. Just gonna add all this spinach and it looks like a lot of spinach but you'll see how how much it cooks down. And it really is just a flash cooking and it's gonna take only really a few seconds because you also don't want to overcook it because you want to keep that beautiful green color and we have a bowl of ice water here. So as you can see, you've retained the nice, beautiful color. It's not overcooked, it's not mushy, which is also very important because depending on what sort of um, application you're gonna be using the spinach, the cooked spinach, you wanna make sure that you don't overcook it. All right, so Sarah, go ahead and um, just take all the spinach out and just squeeze all the excess water out. Why did you wear your gloves? <laughs> because they're done being cooked and it's ready to be eaten. So ready to eat food. Exactly, exactly. Go ahead and take all of, yeah, take all of that out. So as you can see, from the amount of spinach that we had before we cooked it, now it's just, a lot less. Yes, exactly. So uh, you always want to make sure you plan accordingly, whether it's for service or for competitions. Because you certainly don't want uh, to run out or not have enough, so planning is very important. What do you think you can make with spinach at this point, with the blanched spinach? A quiche. A quiche is very good. I'm sure you've had spinach dip. Yes. You can make smoothies. 
Oh, you can also make casseroles. You can make gratins, stuffed with chicken. If you're doing like a basil pasta, you can't fill it with just basil. So they add supplement some of it with, with the spinach. spinach for the color. So you end up with this really, really green, vibrant color pasta. So um, there's many, many uses besides just making a, a salad with spinach. So we're gonna make a cooked spinach salad. Yes, absolutely. I think most people think of a spinach salad with uncooked spinach. Yes. And it's a different way of uh, using spinach. So we have your blanched spinach. So go ahead and toss it into the bowl. You have olive oil, you have a little bit of vinegar, you have some shallots and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And those are all the ingredients that you need to make a vinaigrette. So go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. Just drizzle a little bit of that in there. If you want to add a little bit of shallots in there. And then if you want to add uh, some salt and pepper, let's go ahead and do that. And then you're just going to give it a, a toss. Now at this point, you can certainly embellish your, your uh, spinach salad. You can add some nuts in there if you wanted. Mm, you can nuts. certainly, pine nuts are very good, walnuts are good. You can certainly add some herbs. We've used the same ingredients, yet we have two totally different dishes here. Mm -hmm. Perfect, look at that. Very good. Awesome, let's go ahead and taste this. And again, you can add your, you know, Spinach strawberry salads are very good, so you can certainly put in sliced strawberries at this point um, when you're making your vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. You can certainly add bacon. Oh. I know bacon, you know, they love the warm bacon salad. So you can certainly add some bacon. You can add celery and other vegetables in there, and you can make an awesome, awesome salad. Large variety of things. You can make it Asian by adding some sesame oil instead of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Adding ses toasted sesame seeds, another Sounds really good. good suggestion. Let's try the sautéed spinach. Mm, oh, that's really, that's good. really good too. Mm -hmm. But you can see how they're completely different dishes Using and yet the exact use same thing. same ingredients. Pretty awesome. Yeah, we rocked it. <laughs> and Nailed it is it. good. It's really it good. It's actually really good. You guys want to taste it? it?